Greetings, fellow Dragon Ball fans and collectors. I'm the DBZ Collector, and I'm here to help you start or build your Dragon Ball collection. So be sure to hit the subscribe button, followed by the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Even if you aren't a collector or plan on collecting, feel free to subscribe anyways. And who knows, maybe I'll help you change your mind. I got these in the mail yesterday. Here we have the S-Culture 7 Special, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. And here we have the Calm Figuration, Volume 1 and Volume 2. And we'll be taking a look at these figures first. And that's coming up right after this sweet intro. Kuruzo. If you have these figures, let me know in the comment section below your thoughts and opinions on them. Before we dive in, let's take a look at the boxes first. Here's the front, one side, the back, the other side, bottom, the top. And their Toei Animation stickers, which are these figures sticker of authenticity. Let's show these figures are not a bootleg. Now let's take them out. Gogeta stands at eight and a half inches, and these two stand at four and a half. And as you saw, they were designed to where you either have one or the other, or both, which I think is the better option. If you just get Gogeta, it acts as a normal figure. And if you get just this one, it can as well, but it look kind of weird having half of their body stuck into the ground. I really like this piece, but I really think that their mouths could use a little bit of improvement. It's kind of weird. Goku actually looks better than Vegeta, but Gogeta looks the best. Depending on the angle, Gogeta kind of looks like a monkey, which kind of works out, because, you know, they're Saiyans. But other than their face, everything else is fantastic. The sculpt is very well done. I really like their uh, choice of font. Very similar to what the original logo looks like, but more of a stylized variant. They should have done like with the Goku diorama by having a Dragon Ball instead of just a normal O. There is just one more thing I forgot, and that is their halos. You know what really cool is if a Janemba one came with this. Maybe like a small version of the fat one, and then Janemba behind it, the second version. That'd be really cool. If you enjoyed this video, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You know you want to. And be sure to check out my other videos by clicking the card above, either there or there. Can't remember which. If you like these figures, then check the description box below. I'll provide some links to places you can buy them. And as I mentioned earlier, collector or not, plan on to or not, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and follow by the bell icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.